Alright then, we're back. Now, if it seemed like I knew what I was doing up to this point, I guarantee you that was all a mistake. Because as it stands right now, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm hoping... I do remember... Ow. There's nothing over here. Anyway. Later on, you get a downslide, and that's how you get that book. I do remember a double jump platform earlier in the castle. So ideally we're going to go to that after I touch this healing spot. Just back out. It still gives you the full health and mana. So we're going to go back to that double jump area and hopefully we find something delicious. Who knows? I'm going to skip these guys this time. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting tired. It's just such a good ability- a weapon. I wish there was a way to upgrade your weapon so this could stay more useful later on, but there's not. Uncursed potion. It is worse for breaking like these things, because you can see you kind of pause for a second after you land because the animation is still going on. But now I'm done with that ectoplasm, I'm going to switch. No. Give me back my tiny devil. I'm going to switch back to the base lord. Can I make it up here? I can. I can make it up there. It might not look like I can, but I can. And if I remember correctly, that weapon is much better than what I have, so I do want to make it up there. Yes, I do. One damage. Ah, uh, we do need to leave because the box needs to reset. I'm not too sure if I. I don't like you. I'm not too sure if I like this weapon as much. As you can tell, there's different attacking animations for different weapons, and um, that one's not very good it's a long attacking animation kind of like the whip sword is so I can't get a double hit off which severely reduces my damage and uh, it does have more range so there is that but uh, Luck, luck helps you get drops and souls and stuff. Ow. So you want a good luck. The heart pendant also gives us the defense that the cape gets, so it's just a flat upgrade. Alright, I guess there's no secret there. Oh yeah, here's where it was. Where the double jump area is. Not in this room, but in this direction. I think. I hope, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, we've been left. Oh. The hammer is kind of like the broadsword, but it does insane damage. So, we might stick with the hammer just because it does so much damage. As it stands, I'm a bit lost. Basically, whenever you get a mobility power, you have to backtrack. Oh. I'm pretty sure this is a good power, too. Yeah, it's just a, uh, it's pretty much, yeah, it's a high damage line attack, so it can hit multiple enemies. It doesn't just disappear after you hit the first one, so it is pretty good. Yeah. 
This guy also drops, I think, broad swords. No, he drops a combat knife. Is that any better? Yeah, that combat knife is really nice. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Uh, I don't think you can kill those gold guys. You could try. Alright. That room shouldn't really be that hard. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's all I have to say about it. I struggled for no reason. Just because I'm bad at the game. Mad because bad. <laughs> Copper plate. 28 armor. That's not gonna be bad. Level up. It's also gonna be pretty useful. You can kill these things, by the way. Oh. Yeah, I just killed three of them. I don't know what their ability does, I forgot. And even though they are ghosts, your weapon still does hurt. This is a great way to farm... Uh, what, what's it called again? I'll tell you in a minute. Basically, you sit here and they keep reproducing. And you wait until they reproduce a ton and you kill like 10 of them at a time. Because they start reproducing at an exponential rate. Oh, they start disappearing. But you can kill a bunch of them at a time, and every single one of these has a chance of dropping the soul. So it's a really great way to farm up the soul if you can't get it. I'd recommend you just wait in there. Wait, what? No, what I do? Oh, okay. This teleports us back to the beginning. Yeah, we have 70 minutes. So I'm gonna come up here, check and see what's up here. I don't know if I have to wait till later to be able to get the item. Not too sure. I'm gonna try though. That item right there is so amazing. I think by the time you get it though, you have better items. But it's still pretty good. Another combat knife. At this point, that's just money. Cestus is... Yeah. It has incredibly short range. But you get a lot of attacks. So I like it. You pretty much don't have to do the double jump because you attack so fast. But if you can do the double jump, it's not like it hurts. Ah, I'm not doing too well. If this was a zombie apocalypse, I'd be dead. Right. Bye. Yes, we want the castle map. Oh, I already have the castle map. So he does have some decent items. I would recommend you just buy potions. As many as you can hold, whenever you come here. Just because potions are good for boss fights in case you get into any sticky situations. I'm gonna keep one combat knife. You can have my short sword. 
My bastard sword. I always keep the whip sword. I'm wielding my Cestus. How much money do I have? 4,000, yep. Oh. Oh, you can only hold 9 potions. I forgot about that. There's a glitch where you can have like 500 potions, which is really nice. Uh, I don't know how to do it though. The lucky charm, by the way. It. Yeah. It's definitely worth it. Because, like I said, luck is. It helps you get item drops and soul drops. So, having that lucky charm is amazing. And we are coming up to the end of the video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the save room that we had at the beginning and then I'm gonna cut the video this is not the right way <laughs> whoops there's still seven more areas we can access with our double jump I did not get to all of them so don't worry uh, we'll go left next time so I'll see you then. Goodbye.